Attention Troopers, this is your Imperator Darmenstein. Here we can see the latest combat exercise of NSN Ashford, the next generation frigate constructed by Darmenstein Military Shipyard. And as the director of DMS, I'm here to brief you on the specifications of this new frigate. DMS has released several block modules optimized for building huge spaceships, so instead of using thousands of individual blocks with thousands of colliders, this mod pack provides you with massive individual building blocks, therefore decreasing collider and AP counts, which in turn relieving your computer from intensive calculations for big builds. Let's start with this, perhaps the most exciting part of this mod pack, the torpedo bay. This torpedo bay is capable of deploying four space torpedoes armed with nuclear warheads in a single salvo, with each torpedo carrying enough for the power to destroy a spaceship. However, it needs several seconds to adjust flight path and trajectory, therefore vulnerable to serious and point defenses. These space torpedoes are state-of-the-art naval technology developed by DMS under exclusive contract for the Nova faction. And when we need less collateral damage, we also have the plasma variant. These plasma warheads deliver a much smaller explosion that can melt through armor with 300% more damage. Now let's take a look at the Progmat armor plates, casually referred to as living metal. These armor plates are standard issue for any ships constructed by DMS. Made with programmable matter capable of repairing itself, it drains a small amount of power when idle and considerably more when performing self-repair. As such, energy storage will be vital to make use of these plates with their full potential. Moving on to internal systems, we'll start with the frames. These frames are vital to secure the structural integrity of spaceship hulls and modules. The ship's crew can also perform utility and maintenance duties via access hatches on both ends of this frame. And here we have the naval gyro, a massive gyroscope module to stabilize spaceships when entering a gravity well as well as establishing a universal op across friendly flotilla to better synchronize fleet combat movement. Due to the design being intended for spaceships, usage on small attacks is strongly discouraged. And the backbone of energy storage and power distribution across the ship is the naval battery, a massive energy storage to provide power to all systems on a spaceship, install these modules in a stack for an even higher storage capacity. Now for the cosmetic parts, let's take a look at the comms array. This is an array of receivers and transmitters for subspace communications eliminating information delay between astronomical distances. And then we have the full spectrum scopes, a series of instruments capable of detecting the entire electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves, microwaves, and all the way to gamma rays. Moving on to movement parts, the maneuvering thrusters developed by DMS is bigger and heavier but also far stronger than the usual Hawkeye model. These powerful thrusters are mainly used for course correction and sublight movement. Now to address the elephant in the room, let's talk about the Epstein Drive. Originally invented by Solomon Epstein, this fusion engine has achieved a level of efficiency that was previously thought to be unattainable. The Epstein Drive was a vital technology 
that allows humans to colonize Mars, the asteroid belt, and the entire solar system. This Proxmod 1 model has been further enhanced with Proxima Dark to achieve FTL travel, allowing highly efficient interstellar transportation. Inspired by the book and TV series The Expanse, this engine, along with the maneuvering thrusters, will enable us to perform the iconic flip and burn maneuver. To maintain the balance of power and to prevent our own arsenal to be used against us, we also developed a countermeasure to neutralize our space torpedoes. This is RPX-2, a miniaturized version of RPX-1 Gladius without an independent power supply. The resulting series is just as deadly, significantly smaller, allowing for more flexible installation across the spaceship. However, without an independent power source, this weapon system needs to rely on the ship's power to function. As you can see, it can easily deny 5 torpedo bays at once, but as soon as you run out of power, you're done. Also inspired by the Expanse is C460P 40mm PDC. This point defense cannon doesn't need any power, however it is less accurate and can be easily overwhelmed. And there you have it, all the parts you will need to construct an Ashford class frigate. But please note that the series are unofficial mods, but everything else can be found at Steam Workshop. I will provide you with the links in the description. Feel free to leave your thoughts about this mod pack in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is Darkest Stein signing off.